How you doing, fam? Man? This is Chris Mizo here. We're here with another video based on Asus ROG Ally, and I'm excited to install some Hall Effect joysticks because everybody wants to know exactly how they work inside of Asus ROG Ally. Now, thanks to shared by one of the viewers saying that Hall Effect joysticks actually do exist. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I install my joysticks and I'll show you everything that you need to install the joysticks. If you have any parts that you want to skip to, make sure you check down the timestamps right down below as I have them. And if anything that you're interested in purchasing, make sure you go down to the description box right down below. Now, the difficulty level to install them is not really all that hard. Now, the first thing I'm going to recommend you to do before you do install these joysticks is to make sure to wear down your Asus ROG Ally. Make sure it has very low battery, maybe about 15% or lower, because you will need to disconnect the battery in order to disconnect the joysticks. At least that's what I would recommend. The joysticks don't come really in a big fancy package. I actually ordered them off of one X player and they took quite a bit of time to get here. I would have made this video a lot sooner if it wasn't for the length of time I actually had to wait for the package. So it took about roughly three weeks, and when the package came in, it was nothing really all that special. In fact, I didn't even bother showing an unboxing because it's that unspecial of a packing. Now, it did come from China. It wouldn't be much of a surprise that they don't have as much quality control or really care about the quality of sharing out the package. But the most important thing is how well the hull effect joysticks actually work on the Asus ROG Ally, and that's what I want to share with you today. Not only will you need the whole effect joysticks, here is what I would recommend for tools. UFixit has an awesome toolkit, especially if you have an Asus ROG Ally. Now, you don't have to get the exact one that I show on this video, but they do have other toolkits where they're really affordable. You can get some of their toolkits for as low as $29.99. If you're interested in any of these products that I do share in this video, make sure you go down to the description box down below to click it in order to find it. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and dissect the Asus ROG Ally. And again, disclaimer, please wear down the battery. Don't try to dissect it with 100% battery life and do not try to dissect it while it is plugged in because those are both bad ideas. Batteries down to 17%. This is a perfect time for you to start to take apart your Asus ROG Ally to install these Hall Effect joysticks. Just make sure you go to shut down your Asus ROG Ally before you continue. After the device is shut down, make sure you have your toolkit handy. Now remember, when you do take this apart, please avoid touching the power button. It's also good to have a guitar pick ready in order for you to pick apart the back of the case. So get that screwdriver ready and let's take it apart. Make sure you take apart these six screws in the back in order for you to completely take it apart now. Make sure you place it in a place where you will not lose them. And remember, this one on the bottom, here in the, the bottom middle is the actual ground screw. So if you don't want it to accidentally power on, I recommend to take this one out first. The ground screw won't back all the way out, so you shouldn't have any issue about that. And these Phillip head screws are actually a lot longer than you think. So just be patient and make sure to remove them completely. You do not want to break your plastic case. Make sure to grab your guitar pick here and we're gonna start to break it apart. As soon as you do, you can place this back piece elsewhere. And now you can see the components completely exposed here. Now we're gonna try to use this pick right here. We just had to simply just pull this battery cable out first before we continue, just in case. We don't want any shorts to happen. So just carefully pluck it out.
as we have that out, remove these thumbsticks. Remember to remove this ribbon cable here. In order to remove this ribbon cable, just make sure you just open up this black little tag. As you see that flap has opened up, now you can pull it out safely. So you could grab it from this blue ribbon cable if you want to pull it out, just slide right out. And just remove those four screws that are around the thumbstick module. Do not lose them unless you got replacements. So make sure you remove this EFI tape right here and also make sure to remove this little ribbon right here as you can see it's the ribbon is actually attached to the front of it. Remember to disconnect this black lever here in the back. So you're gonna, anytime you see the pins up in the front, always remember it's gonna be on the back side of it to lift it. As that's lifted, we can pull that straight out. Now we're almost complete here. All we have to do is remove this little one right here. It should be able to come out. Now we have clear access to change out the joystick. All you have to do is remove that ribbon cable and I believe it is only two screws holding in this joystick. Now remember with these joysticks, just in case for warranty purposes, you just want to keep them. If you have to return the ASUS ROG Ally to ASUS for repair. So just keep them. You don't want to leave the whole effect joysticks on them otherwise it's possible that asus will just naturally blame the whole effect joysticks first thing we will do to remove this joystick is to loosen up the ribbon cable as that lever is lifted you can safely remove that ribbon cable straight out but remember to remove these two screws Now it is completely out. Now we gotta reinstall the joystick. Now when you put the screws in, you don't have to over torque it. Just have it tight enough to where it's holding because it already has some blue Loctite on here. Okay, looks like we're good to go. We'll close this up. So one thing I have noticed is the length of the joystick is a bit small. Make sure to pop off this old one here to just reinstall it, your original joystick in place of what it came with. Instead of that little puny sized one. Make sure to reinstall all the ribbon cables. Okay, now let's go onto the other end here. Same process with the right joystick here. There are only two ribbon cables compared to having the three. Now remember this little notch here, or this little hole, because you're gonna slide the ribbon cable through it. Do not try to wrap around it. You don't wanna damage the ribbon cable. So let's pull this out. Same four screws. Now you get a use the other side to kind of push it out. Now 
So when you do remove this ribbon cable, please remember to remove it off the notch because otherwise you're gonna yank this out of the chassis and then you're gonna run into some serious issues and that's the last thing you wanna run into. Now we have access to the joystick. Let's remove the screws and the ribbon cable once more. So simply just reinstall the screws into the Hall Effect joystick and then tighten up the ribbon cable. Same with the, this side, you wanna make sure to reinstall old joysticks, otherwise it's gonna be a shorty. As soon as that's done, now you can simply just reinstall it. All we have to do is tighten up these screws Now remember to put the ribbon cables back together. You'll see a black line, just make sure it lines up to that. And once it does, you'll be good. Now we're solid. All we gotta do is put the case back together and see how well it works. Just remember to plug the battery back in. We are gonna finally turn on this uh, device now. We have a successful boot. Right now we're gonna go over to settings here and we're gonna actually enter the whole joystick side. So we're gonna go to settings, configure. We're gonna go to gamepad mode here. We're gonna go to left stick. We're gonna make sure we zero everything down. We're gonna open up this menu here and turn it into gamepad mode so we can test it. And it looks like the joysticks are responsive. On this test, you can also see there's a slight drift hitting the right trigger. We just have to adjust the different dead zones here. I believe for this one, it's up to 27% for it to actually show that it doesn't have any type of drift on here. It looks like it just has trouble reaching just the outside of the joystick area as you can see up there and it looks like the right one performs much better in the circularity test and personally in my suggestion you probably don't have to have a magnetic joystick on the left you could just install it onto the right if you want to have less trouble dealing with modifications when it comes to joysticks currently the best settings that i could get it down to about 79 percent and 15 percent for the left stick and for the right stick, I have it slightly adjusted down to a 90%. You can see the circularity is much better when you have one analog and one whole effect stick. You have less percentage of an average error. I also failed to film about the failure rate of the joystick, of the left joystick after the best setting was found. It was at 8.5% and the right joystick was still the same, about close to 6%. Fanman, guys, that is how you install the whole effect joysticks. Now it comes down to the review. Exactly what do I think of them and is it really worth the purchase of buying whole effect joysticks? First thing I will tell you is when you do install these whole effect joysticks, does it feel any different? Not really, not 100%. It's a very tad bit it's stiffer, maybe about like a 5% increase in stiffness, but that's about it. So it's really not that noticeable, but I can tell you 100% you can see the improvement when you do move the right joysticks, especially when it comes to first person shooters. So if you're a big fan of first person shooter games, such as Halo, Call of Duty, Battlefield, Rainbow Six, any of these first person shooters, 
it would be a great improvement for you guys to install a Hall Effect joystick. Now, is there really any benefit installing the left joystick as a Hall Effect joystick? Sure, there is. You have less of a failure rate, but as easy as it is to replace a joystick on the Asus ROG Ally, why really is it worth it? How often are you going to really swap out that joystick for you to say that you had enough swapping out joysticks? How much of a failure rate do you have with any of these joysticks really? Because I have yet run into any type of issues when it comes to Asus ROG's Allies joysticks. But if you do, you have to really question how is the quality control when it does come down to Asus ROG's actual joysticks. So in my opinion, it's worth replacing the right joystick. It is a little bit pricey in my personal opinion. It is $15 for the joystick but they do charge you a astronomical shipping fee just to send these joysticks to your house as you're gonna pay about 10 to $20 in shipping as is it's not being shipped from the US, it is being shipped from China. So you're gonna pay this enormous ridiculous fee where it shouldn't be that high. In reality, you're paying about $50 for two Hall Effect joysticks that you will install on the Asus ROG Ally. And one of those joysticks will give you issues with the left trigger. On the right side, you will have zero issues because as you see, the joystick on the right side is much more further down away from the right trigger. So that way you will have less issues. On the left trigger, you will have some issues because your left trigger will be a lot closer to your left joystick. Personally to me, you will see a large improvement on using it on the right side, 100% worth it just getting one on the left side, it's not really worth it unless you just really want to mess with it to get it to the point where you want it. But again, it's not really that bad to disassemble a Asus ROG Ally to replace a joystick and you're not going to really run into failures often. In my review, in my personal opinion, just get one joystick, save yourself the trouble. There is no problems with the actual analog joysticks. Of course, the Hall Effect joysticks are marginally better, just not really 100% necessary, especially if you don't play first person shooters. If you do, just replace the right one, and I promise you, you will be perfectly happy just replacing just one. Bam bam guys, now remember, if you're interested in any of these parts, make sure you go down in the description box down below as I have it posted down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you know anybody else who is interested in installing Hull Effect joysticks or want any more information when it comes to Asus ROG Ally, make sure you share this channel with them. And also, if not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fan band guys, what are your thoughts of their stock joysticks? And are you willing to install Hall Effect joysticks into your Asus ROG Ally? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Muso, signing out.